Hi, um, my name is Dr. Jo Whittaker and I'm a personal trainer and I use boxing as a method of teaching my students so I used to be applied to myself and I'll show you how I built my own boxing gym in my own back garden. So I built this super sturdy gazebo using beautiful Scandinavian pine and inside I've kept the flooring concrete with the slabs here so you can move about some mats so I can use some weights and all the things I want some skipper ropes there some ninja stars holding up some of my equipment and the star of the show are these aqua bags now you can buy these and they're pretty expensive but actually they're made just using boys and they've just been rebranded and I'm going to show you how to make your very own aqua bag today Right, so as I said, the aqua bags that you see branded are actually boys. But instead of being filled with air, they're filled with water. I'll show you how to fill one in a minute, because that's probably the trickiest part. But just let me show you the construction. First of all, starting here, you need a very strong hook, and it's going to have this uh, D shank up here. Some kind of um, link chain, um, five millimetres is probably the minimum that you want, but it depends how tall your ceiling is. Then what I use is a quick release um, cable chain here, um, five or six mils fine. And this is the important part, it's, it's, it's a swivel hook. This allows the bag to move and turn. It's a really important part, and if you buy any chains off uh, eBay, sometimes they don't have it, and I think that's a bit of a shame. Next important thing is this quick connection here, um, which then needs to go into the D-shackle that goes into the aqua bag. This one here is the equivalent to about 15 inches, um, and it's, it's a polyform, a really good make, um, and that's A2. The size I'm going to fill up later will be equivalent to sort of 18 inches, um, but that'll be an A3 bag. Okay, this little this one here, which you can use as a floor to ceiling bag, but it moves a bit, so you've got a target to hit. Um, this is like a 9 inch one, this is the smallest size, A0. This is the 12 inch aqua bag size here look. Um, and this will be your A1. And the biggest one which I'm going to pump up with water a bit later on, just down there, that's your A3. Okay, so um, this is a 12mm D shackle, make sure you get the ones wide at the bottom, not the ones that narrow in. Um, this is perfect for this, which is the A3 and then the A2, um, and probably the A1. The A0, you can probably get away with a slightly smaller one because the boys vary in width here. Um, for the two bigger sizes, I definitely had to have it on to push it on, but it fits just fine. So the other important thing to show you here is just they all come with this little connect here. Just twist it once, and this is where you fill it up normally with air. But well, the channel is very narrow. So we have to widen it to get the water in, um, stop it splashing everywhere. Now, water will go everywhere, make sure you've got a bucket when you fill these things, because it's never perfect, um, but it'll, it'll help. So I used a 6mm drill, here, so you just insert it here. Don't worry about um, going all the way down to the bottom, but don't damage the thread. And just do a little bit down. Just so we can get them. Okay, so the brilliant thing about aqua bags is, unlike big heavy bags, is you can hang them up when they're really quite light uh, and you can fill them up while they're in situ. So just to run down the chains again, you know, you only need to say a 5mm chain up there, but on the bigger ones, especially, you need a 12mm link here. So in order to get these wide enough, I kind of go down se sequentially. So this would be 12mm, that would be 10, 8, 6, 5, and so on. Actually, by far, the hardest thing to do is to be able to get your water into your bag. So, when you buy the actual original aqua bags, which are, you know, quite a lot of money, you get the adapter. But otherwise, the adapters are very difficult to get. So, uh, I've made my own. And I've experimented with a lot of different ways to do this. And this has worked out pretty well for me. So this is my garden hose, which normally has a, 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 an end on it. And I wanted it to be able to quickly adapt. So, I cut a piece of pipe like this 
then I've got the end one here so that I can easily attach this and bring it down the garden. Now this end, okay, this is just a nozzle from, uh, from a tube, like silicon tube, something like that. And I've put it in there and it fits quite snugly and I've put this onto the end of the hose. Now, in order to try and make it as watertight as possible, I think this rubber tape works really well. I tried quite a few things, DTFE tape, uh, duct tape, all sorts of things, uh, and this rubber tape seems to work best. Well, that's always a little bit wetter than I hoped, but um, once you've done, you just put the straight back in, and that should be fine. Um, when you fill it, especially the big ones, they do get through there, and it get a lot of, you know, pressure back. So it's worth like, taking the nozzle out occasionally, and put it back in, and that's how I got it. <laughs> right then, so the great thing about apple buns, they don't move so much and take up so much space. You can really hit them, they rebound off the, the padding in the gloves, not meant for England patterns, and I'll just show you now. Right then, this is the smaller one, so this is the 15 inch, the A2, and you can still see, you know, it's small, it's still kind of hard to move, it doesn't matter too much. Did you show you? <laughs> and uh, this is the baby, A0, 9 inch, with about. I don't have to have it on a chain, probably this one. Just have the uh, the shackle at the top, put some rope over, and you can see. Great the movement trailer. Love it. So, the same price of one commercial apple bag, you can make yourself four. Put them up, use them as you want, and get yourself a circular like I have. Thank you for watching. <laughs>